Hello and welcome! I am Manic Mink and this, this is Goddess! Oh, I am so excited for this. Um, Goddess, the new game by 22 Cans, uh, headed by the wonderful and always amazing Peter Molyneux, uh, has, has just kind of come out recently with the beta. Um, I backed their Kickstarter forever ago and just got beta keys. And oh my god, I am excited about this. Um, Peter Molyneux, of course, the guy responsible for every game you've ever loved, uh, including but not limited to Dungeon Keeper, Fable, um, Black and White, uh, Populous, everything Bullfrog made. Um, oh my, just so much stuff. I, I, I'm a fan. We'll put it like that. Um, I quite like him. He is, he is a quite an ingenious guy. Um, anyways, this is the beta, as you can see, beta 1.2.3524. Um, according to 22 Cans, this is roughly about 40% completed. Um, so there's still a lot of stuff to, uh, to, to, to add in, and as you can see in design notes, there's many things we had to disable for early access, for stability, um, as many things are buggy and badly balanced, yada yada, thank you Peter Molyneux, we love you. Um, if you want a multiplayer game, invite P. Molyneux. Oh, I want to I wanna play multiplayer with Peter Molyneux. Anyways, this is a god game. Um, you play as a god, a god of your own choosing, a god of your own uh, creation, I suppose. And uh, you you lead your little, your little happy people, um, who are right now just breaking rocks in the hot sun, uh, because they fought the law and the law won. Um, no, you lead them to greatness. Um, let's... Yeah, I totally helped them out. See, they're so excited. Uh, this is left-clicking and right-clicking. It's really simple. Um, your followers have moved from wilderness. Started to believe in a higher power. Namely me. Because they love me. Um, the scrapbook contains the history of your people. It starts with two lonely souls in the wilderness and ends with a conquest of space. To advance your people, you need to collect advanced cards. Without advanced cards, your civilization cannot make progress. Cards can be sometimes made up of element cards found in the world. Uh, in this first stage, your advances will be gained through increasing your population. Good luck! So, primitive age, we're in the establishment period. Um, yeah, we got a card. I named my people the Flurpians, because why Why wouldn't you name them the Flurpians? That's just a great name. Uh, at the start of the primitive age, the followers have moved from the wilderness and started to come together to live in permanent ado uh, abodes. I'm going to say adobes. Um, by using basic tools, forming simple communities, and expanding their population, they become ever more advanced. Uh, you get a bunch of uh, a bunch of cards to collect as well. So let's close this and keep going. Now they are going to start building buildings, um, shelters. Uh, let's let's try and help them out by making uh, try and make any of our land a bit more habitable for them. Looks like we might have to wait until they finish building their first shelter. Did they finish? Is that is that the first shelter? Uh, I think it might be. Hooray! Uh, land expansion. As your followers believe in you, your influence will across the land will grow. Uh, perfect. So the more followers we have, the more. The more we, uh, the more we grow. So let's... Yeah, let's spit out another person. He even said yeah. That is exciting. Oh man. Let's... Knock down some of these rocks, make it a bit more palatable for our people to live. Ah. Oh, I am excited about this. This is a slow game, though, uh, as a heads up to everyone. I don't know how I'm going to be doing the series on this entirely. Um, I might do, you know, here's an episode, then play through for a few hours, and then show you the progress. Um, if that's what you're interested in, by all means, let me know. Um, if it's a, you'd prefer maybe a more, just play through the entire thing and show me everything, I can do that too. Uh, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it goes, um... You, I believe, you, yeah, you can click and drag to move your land about and sort of re, reconstitute, I suppose, or reform your terrain. As you can see, we start off on this little island here. Uh, let's collect some faith. 
Um, I did watch a couple videos on this, just very briefly. Um, ooh. I have a heartbeat. Who's, whose heartbeat is this? Um, as you can see, there's little islands all around here. Uh, so we start off on kind of this little sort of archipelago type thing. Um, waiting, I, yep, we're waiting for our people to, uh, make more, more followers believe in you. Yep, we got another land expansion card. Good, so we've expanded our land some more. Let's try to knock down some more obstacles, I guess, and, uh... Let's, yeah, some more faith. Uh, and we're building our little hovels here out of dirt and stuff. I love the water effects. I love how you can see the tiered sort of terrain and environment. Uh, I love how there's a bunch more, uh, uh, Let's pull that back. I just want to get some more land here for our people. Okay. Spit out another follower. Let's get some more population. Um, the more population you have, obviously, the more... Uh, the more people will believe in you, because as, like, all good... Uh, all good god games, your powers come from your ability to be believed in. Okay, we'll spell another person. Ah, oh, this is this is fun. I like these kind of games. Um, I know that they're they probably look a bit boring for people. Um, I'm sure that it's like, well, why are you not playing something a bit more exciting? But I don't. Smart sculpting, double clicking, left and right mouse will push and pull larger areas of land. I just, I just like this. Oh my god, this is just so cool to me. Um, I do like how there is sort of dynamic sort of tile. Um, you know, you can kind of, you know, if I want to expand out here, I can just build some more expansion. Let's drag this out a bit. Gain some more faith, please. Faith, faith. Uh, spit out another follower. Yeah, and this is like just right at the edge of, you can see our sort of... Uh, I don't want to call it a sphere of influence, but... You know, it kind of is. Oh, it, it costs faith to... Okay. I'm assuming, of course, that you get more faith uh, as the game goes on, and it becomes a much more plentiful resource. Spit out another person. They'll build a little house over here. Get some more faith. Oh, man. This is so cool. I am I'm ridiculously excited for this. Um, felt tense. Large abodes can house more of your population, generate more belief. So we've unlocked some new buildings, it looks like. Um, and I do see the chest over there. I just want to spit out a follower once we get a bit more faith. Okay, so we generated some faith by destroying some rocks. Get some more faith. Spit out that. Let's click on that. What did we get? Felt. Uh, we require felt to unlock felt tents. That makes sense. Uh, all right. Oh man. Oh, the uh, this game. This game. Peter Molyneux, you are. I want you to adopt me. This is. <laughs> I love these games. Um, let's. Expand this out a little bit. Try and create another plot of land, maybe. Get some more face. We need one, two, three more people. I think by the looks of it. Oh. 
Spit out another group of people. And I'll go and build a building there. Uh, we have 19 out of 20. I think that means we need 20 uh, people in our territory. So maybe one more and we should get more land. Not entirely sure uh, how I guess a lot of it works because it's just sort of... Yep, 20. Okay. And expansion. We gain more territory. Boop. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll spit out another guy. We'll grab this card. Which is timber. Uh, yeah, wood's plentiful material. Even in primitive times, Neolithic farmers built wooden longhouses that could house up to 20 to 30 people. Uh... Yeah, oh, a level 2 dwelling there. Yeah. Oh, I want to expand this out too. Uh, we will spit out some more followers here in a moment. Ah, uh, more timber. Good. Uh, let's expand our territory a bit. Boop, boop. Okay, get some more faith. Okay, spit out one of you. Good. Uh, and let's... Gain some more. Gain some more. Spit out some of you. We got a new card. Construction. Uh, you need three wood and one felt to unlock construction. Once humans began to settle, permanent structures became a way of life. Tent-like structures transformed into small wooden ho small wooden or mud brick houses. Uh, the most common form of early human abodes uh, around 5000 BC were wooden longhouses. Often these houses would consist of one large room housing both people and livestock. Okay, so we have one. Oh, we have two of those, and we need one felt and one wood left in order to... Uh, Start to uh, expand our stuff. Um, let's I'll send another one of you out. Let's knock down these trees. Alright, we'll do that. Try and clear off some of this area. Maybe we can get some more uh, lots of land in here, perhaps? Oh man, look at that. They're building even bigger houses. That's so cool. Okay, we'll kick out a settler there. You can make a new house. Alright. Uh, we'll get some more of this. Here, here, here. I want to expand out as far as I can. I'll make this all sort of a second tier uh, plateau, I suppose. Alright. So it looks like we generate faith very slowly, but we're kind of... We did just start out. We're only like 15 minutes in. Uh, so it looks like it will be a sort of a long-term game. Like I said, I don't know necessarily how everyone wants me to do this, or I guess if anyone will even watch it. Um, hmm. 
You know, because on the one hand, uh, we could do very long episodes, uh, or very... multiple very short, I suppose, episodes, maybe? Spit out you and you, sure. Uh, we could do some, very, you know, very short episodes in which we sort of, uh, slowly make some progress, but also, you know, it, we could do, um... You know, I could do a 20-minute episode, then play for a couple hours, and then come back and show you what's happened. Um, I'm not sure what would be the best way to do it. This will be, I think, a 20-minute episode I'll, per I'll go with, um, just for the sake of... Uh, I don't want to say convenience, but for the sake of, since I'm already recording this... Uh, boop. Boop. Yeah, since I'm already recording it, and I'm already pretty far into, uh... What would be this, this episode. Um, we may as well... Make it a bit of a longer one. Um... I try and expand out here as well, because I have all this territory that I'm not really using. And yes, this will be, um, just sort of for people who are interested, this will be multiplayer. Uh, once, sort of once the beta gets a bit more fleshed out and uh, a bit more... Um, I don't want to say serious, but... You know what I mean. This is a very early beta. It's very much uh, not at all finished yet. And it will take probably a while before it's really at uh, at the stage that it will be a released game. Like I said, I think they said this is about 40% complete. You know, which leaves, you know quite a bit left, about 60%, well, you know, you guys can do math, 60% of the game left to, uh, left to finish. Um, let's... Trying to get up enough faith to, uh, get a bit more sort of range on my territory and maybe another house or two. I think you could fit a house there. I'd fit a house there if I were them, but... Oh, we got a... Land expansion. More land. Perfect. Um, let's... Chop down some land there. Chop down some land there. We'll spit out two more people. Okay, okay and... Uh... Yeah, I have to imagine that... Um... Two and three. I have to imagine that as you go on, um, you know, stuff like faith becomes more plentiful, and obviously you can make more sweeping, sort of grander changes, I guess, to your landscape. Oh, cool. A big, big house guy enough to, uh, Expand. Or not enough to expand, but enough faith to, um... You know, generate some faith. Faith generates some faith? God, what... Seriously, talking these days. I don't know, man. I am... I am doing a bit crap at the, the whole... The whole speaking thing where you, you know... Make sense when you talk. Um... Yeah. Another person, sure. You guys can go there. Can't actually tell if these houses are done or not. Um, I think they might not be. I think I might need some more... Some more things. Uh, some more, you know... 
resources, because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, opening up this, uh, I need some more stuff for construction. Um, no, that's, yeah, I need one more wood and one more felt. Anyways, though, we're going to stop here, and uh, I'm going to come back to this next time. So, I'm Manic Mink, this is Goddess, uh, and we'll see you later. Take care.